Let's take a look what is Graves' disease. Graves' disease is also known as toxic diffuse goiter. It is the most common cause of hyperthyroidism in us. In hyperthyroidism, thyroid gland makes more thyroid hormone than the body needs. Graves' disease is first discovered by Irish physician Robert J. Graves in 1835. Thyroid hormone is a small gland in neck which produces thyroid hormone to regulate body energy mechanism. As Graves' disease is an autoimmune disorder that attacks the thyroid gland, leading to excess thyroid hormone production. Graves' disease affects one of 200 people in us. It is the most common cause of hyperthyroidism in us. It affects people at between 30 50 years of age and it is most common in females rather than males. Some of the key points related to Graves' a disease are Graves' disease DIGD is the most common cause of hyperthyroidism. DIGD affects three of the overall population. DIGD is more likely affects the females than males. The peak age of diagnosis of Graves' disease patient is 40-60. This slide examines the risk factors associated with the emission of Graves' disease. You can observe that these risk factors cause Graves' diseases. These are family history, age, gender, smoking, pregnancy, stress. Scientists cannot predict who will develop Graves' disease. However, factors such as age, sex, heredity, and emotional and environmental stress are likely involved. Graves' disease usually occurs in people younger than age 40 and is 7 to 8 times more common in women than men. One women are most often affected between ages 30 and 60, and a person's chance of developing Graves' disease increases if other family members have the disease. Researchers have not been able to find a specific gene that causes the disease to be passed from parent to child. Why scientists know some people inherit an immune system that can make antibodies against healthy cells? Predicting who will be affected is difficult. The main points of considerations are peak age is the third and fourth decades and approximately 0.10.5 in the general population. In children, this is the most common cause of hyperthyroidism, typically affecting young adult females. Male female ratio is 1 7, a 7 times more in females than men. How the Graves' disease develops inside a human body? We can evaluate this question by knowing the physiology of disease state. Beta cells in the body triggers plasma cells which secrete. With Graves' disease, the immune system makes an antibody called thyroid stimulating immunoglobal T, sometimes called chai receptor antibody, that attaches to thyroid cells. T mimics chai and stimulates the thyroid to make too much thyroid hormone. Thyroid gland is stimulated and produce excess amount of thyroid hormone. Binding of autobonides to chai receptors induces and regulated activation of thyroid and overproduction of thyroid hormones. Increased amount of thyroid hormones mimics the orbital fibroblast. The result is inflammation and a buildup of tissue and fat behind the eye socket, causing the eyeballs to bulge out. Let's check the multiple symptoms observed during Graves' disease. Typical symptoms are general symptoms observed in almost all kind of patients of Graves' disease. These are anxiety, fatigue, racing heart, weakness, shortness of breath. Classic symptoms are of two types. One is related to cardiac signs and the other is weight loss. Multiple cardiac signs observed in DIG patients are tachycardia, palpitations, chest pain, atrial fibrillation. Physical presentation of hyperthyroidism associated with goiter and exophompos. Goiter is the lumpy tissues in neck which is due to hyperthyroidism, while exophompos is the condition of bulging eyes which is the sign of Graves' disease. Other symptoms 
that can be observed in patients are intolerance to hate, nervousness, difficulty in sleeping, sweating, hand tremors, irritability, frequent bowel movement or diarrhea, emotional disturbance or stress. For more information on disease, its management and drug usage, subscribe our channel or contact us on the given email and contact number. Stay connected for part two and three highlighting the causes, diagnosis, and treatment of Graves' disease. Do like and subscribe our YouTube channel.